Let's Last trade. Last time I visited, you had a trip caster available for trade. Still got it? The proving it is. I'm gonna make me myself a brave. Should I hunt? Holy f bullseye! What the heck are you doing? No, oh, Ross, don't burn yourself alive. That's one big bad mother. Huge. Come on, spit fire. Good morning, good afternoon, or uh, good evening, wherever the hell you are in this universe. Uh, this is Clues Human back again with Horizon Zero Dawn. And um, we just got a tripcaster, if I remember correctly, from the last time. So, yeah, uh, I think we're going to do proving or at least a ritual I, I i can't remember honestly so um yeah let's just get to it <laughs> oh, okay this heat crawls aloy it's you isn't it over here. Did that she just wink at me? Uh, it is Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering. Yeah, the it's the correctly. parkour guy. Are you the knew it. old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hope to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead, a maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. Ooh, our first oh, costume. Like What's it going oh. to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. Yeah, like a lot overdue. Uh, can I get this? Is this the one I? Oh, oh. Wait, what's the different? Oh, they're different outfits. All right. Seems to fit you perfectly. Uh, thank you, Teb. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Yeah, I can't Every remember. Every outfit uh, I don't offers some advantage. Though. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Tomatoes. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. She stopped drinking her tea. And a sample box. Cool. I'll take it. Let's head on over to the main event. Oh, no. get, get distracted. John, get down from there. Bad enough, you're drunk. Why do you have to go climbing houses? <laughs> oh, not it's supposed to go to climbing on other people's that guy roots, huh? Has to be left in the past. Get down from there now. Oh, that's just what you want, isn't it? For me to what an idiot he is. Every year this happens. Every year. At least he's not trying to run a brave trail. 
Every year. Listen carefully now, for you'll have to tell this when I'm gone. In the beginning. In the beginning. Came from Aloy, over here. Who this? Karst? Oh, Karst. What are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? And how generous yeah, of you to talk doy. to me now? Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks in some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. Yeah, I think I need pots. Why'd you come though? So, Mother's Heart. I thought you preferred the wilds. Well, man can't drink alone all the time, can he? Truth is, I get lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Don't think less of me. I won't hold it against you. If you give me a discount. <laughs> you can't be. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. Until next time. Next time, you'll be a brave. I won't let the card to fate stop me from a What harm can they do now? In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. Peace. It's peace. <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by the slavers. hand of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Killers Killers and Slavers! Slavers! Hey, hey, Luminance hold Luminance. your fruit, Nora, oh. Nora Faithful, hold your fruit. Now I'm Azuram, not Karja, so I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bung. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster, he raided my tribe for blood sacrifice just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. And who killed him? The 14th. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th King. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Okay, thank you. <clears throat> An enunciation of gratitude written by the hand of Sun King Avad, 14th luminance of the Radiant Line. Huh. That's... That's... Perhaps the Karja have come to make amends. Oh, he has the earpiece. What? He's wearing a focus, just like mine. What? You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places, forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, uh, I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. What's oh, wrong? Apologies. Uh, a malfunction. Oh, Lynn, you making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait. Okay. No, uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> so there are more people hey, that knows about the focus. You got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense. It looks great on you. Uh, yeah, nice armor. I didn't know 
that there's gonna be like other kinds of people here like i thought there everything's just gonna be tribal or something Golly. i've never seen armor like yours before you've never seen vanguard steel now let me introduce you ring locked impact protected sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth it has to be the vanguard of the sun king's best life takers and machine breakers to a one we might even give a nora war maid like you more trouble than she can handle <laughs> with all that metal to slow you down i doubt it yeah hard to say from where i'm standing looks like a pretty even match uh quite a speech i thought your friend was gonna go down in a hail of fruit but you really calm the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. The Nora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? Uh, close. I wanted to ask you something else. Yeah, if you want. But I'll also be around after that blessing thing, if that'd be a better time to talk. Oh, uh, sure. But what are the Red Raids? I never heard anything about Red Raids growing up. What were those? Your tribe was at war and you didn't even know? <laughs> were you kept hidden away? Did you have overprotective parents or something? I grew up as an outcast, shunned by the tribe. Oh, yeah, I've heard the Nora do that. That seems cruel, if you ask me. But even an outcast knows about the derangement of the machines, right? How they get deadlier every year? Well, the mad Sun King figured if he spilled enough blood to the Sun God, it would calm the machines. Didn't work. But for years, he raided what the, the tribes and took captives for sacrifice. My sister among them. The Nora put up a good fight, but lives were lost. Uh, the Karja? If the Karja have such a cruel history, how did you end up serving them? The last king and his men were butchers, but the new king wants peace. There's nothing cruel about that. Besides, the Karja don't just fight, they build. We'll take Meridian. Next to it, everything else is just a bunch of sticks and stones. Huh. How did the raids end? So, what happened? How did it all end? The Mad King's own son united Karja rebels with Asaram freebooters. And together we did the impossible, took back Meridian and killed the crazy old king. So now the sun sits on the throne and it's a big improvement. Under Avad, there's no more sacrifices, no more slavery. People from all tribes are welcome in Meridian now, even Nora exiles. You really should come visit. Your sister was taken captive and sacrificed. That's terrible. <laughs> Captive, yes. Sacrificed, no. It takes more than a few Karja to finish Ursa. She got away, and now she's my captain. Captain of the entire Vanguard. Favored Ooh. by the Sun King himself. How did she survive? Oh, well, that's a story, all right, but it takes a while to tell. Maybe another time over a drink or three? Stop or just come to Meridian me. and meet her yourself. I think you'd like each other. You're both rather, uh... Direct. Uh, Meridian. Just how big is Meridian? What's it like? Where do I even start? My tribesmen are masters of the forge, the best tinkers in the world. But when it comes to building, the Karja have us beat. The city soars over a canyon with more bridges than the Nora have roads and buildings tall as mountains. And across the valley stands the spire. Like a blade thrust into the sky, reflecting the sun. You really owe it yourself to see it. Weird cut. So consider that a challenge. Or an invitation. Who are the Osaram? Oh, that's my tribe, far to the northwest. We're good at three things. Arguing, working steel, and brewing. And uh, free Basically booters. dwarves. What are those? <laughs> I guess you could yeah, say we yeah. were mercenaries, you know, warriors for pay. Except a lot more loyal than that makes us sound. Avad couldn't have taken down his father without our metal and muscle. And now, some of us serve proudly as his personal vanguard. Derangement. You said the machines have been getting more dangerous every year. Yeah, 
I don't have to tell you that, right? Uh, First I've heard of it. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I just assumed everyone knew. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. When a hunter came at them, they'd spook and run. So it was hard to take them down, but not dangerous, so long as he was smart enough to jump out of the way. But then the derangement starts up and everything changes. Now, when a hunter fires a shot, the machines snarl and charge right at him. A few more years pass and they start attacking people on sight. Going anywhere becomes a major risk. If that wasn't bad enough, entirely new kinds of machines start showing up. Bigger, meaner, and heavily armed. They are evolving. Like sawtooth. Yeah, ten years ago, that one. But every couple of years or so, something worse comes along. Believe me. What's worse so what's making than it happen? sawtooth? And no one knows. And the machines... Well, they aren't telling. <laughs> Tell me about the derangement again. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. When a hunter came at them, they'd spook, so it was hard, but then now when a hunter fumed if they Like the song? Yeah, it's so... And no one... All right. I want to ask you about something you said before. Ask away. Uh, Olin? What else do you know about Olin? Is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs Doesn't up stuff, and like sells it to nobles. Me when he's not scrounging, in, uh, he's spot? scouting. Exactly or the skills you want the man guiding me. your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. Tell me about Olin again. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the I've known him for a few years. I should make my way to the Blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but... It's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable, and... Well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, I make don't introductions. Order. Is It'd be he... a whole new life if you want it. Is anyway, I have to go to blessing thing too. My so, hair. See you around. Maybe because I'm the only one who's ginger here. Is there a fireplace nearby? I'll start the blessing when all aspirants are in place. Oh, okay. am I the only one who's late? God, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. Aw, thanks, Teresa. Blasphemy, sisters. Aspirants, before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, light its flame. Yeah. Poor answers. This is for me. For all I did to make it here. And the answers I'll get after I win the proving. Oh, mother, hear our prayer. What is the child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So, from one to another, passes the chain of love. I'm a friend of There's Olin. I have some questions for him. No, where's Olin? Yeah, let's let's ask Olin. 
Where is he? Boss, boss, boss. What about Vala? She's strong. What of a war chief in her? Hello, Owen. You know my name. Ah, uh, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. Who are you? What are you doing here, Olin? Why come to Noraland? Aaron needed a scout for his expedition and a second for his drinking. That's all. Someone to stop the Sun Priest getting lost. When all this is over, I'm back to delving ruins, rummaging for scrap, scrounging up trinkets to sell. So you're an explorer? Just another outlander, girl. A man's gotta make his shards. I just make mine in service to the king's court. That's all. Okay, it's like you're... I don't know. Like you're suspicious if someone's listening in, but... Ah, uh, oh well. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the claim. That's our name for the Asaram homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've delved yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. Oh. When we spoke earlier, you winced, then looked like you were in pain, or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you, it malfunctioned. Happens all the time. Never happened to me. Mine's never malfunctioned, and I've had it since I was a child. So yours is in better shape then? I'm sure the land here is full of relics. Seeing how you Nora are too scared to delve the ruins. Uh. Because they think ruins are cursed. But I never said I think that. If the North acknowledges a curse, I'm inclined to agree. When we spoke earlier, you winced. It didn't. Okay. I tried that dialogue again. Why? <laughs> I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need to bother. You I'm used something. to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should... Try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. <sighs> Ugh. God, why do you do that? This is a good place to stop. So um, yeah, that's about it for today, and um, I think we're going into the brave or the proving, uh, rather, we're going into the proving properly uh, on the next episode. So um, yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, check out my Twitch. Check out my other videos. I've got like five. <laughs> uh, that's about it for now. If it's a birthday, happy freaking birthday to you. If it's not, then it's not my problem. And, uh, see ya.